Hey guys, it's Sir RMD, and today I'm going to show you exactly how to diagnose fractures on a trauma pelvic x-ray. So to start off, this is how most people usually pull up a pelvic x-ray and look at it. This is a standard windowing and width. Uh, most people kind of look from this general region, and if you look from here, you can probably find a fracture. This is kind of the first thing that kind of catches the eye. You can see this displaced fracture of the right superior pubic ramus. But let me show you how you can squeeze even more information out of this humble study, this pelvic x-ray. What I like to harp on in x-ray imaging is to always zoom in. The advantage of x-ray is that you get good spatial resolution even when you're zoomed in. So I always zoom in and look at the bones closely. Here you can see that iliopectineal line is disrupted right here, a fracture of the right superior pubic ramus. You can also notice that the ilioischial line here is acutely angulated right here, so there's also a fracture of the inferior pubic ramus. So now that we're zoomed in, we can go in a nice flowing fashion around the pelvis and make findings as we go. So as I come here immediately, I'm looking at the pubic synthesis, looking for any suspicious widening. I'm looking at these superior inferior pubic rami. I'm seeing that these seem to be intact over here. I'm noting that this patient has a central venous catheter here in the uh, femoral vein. So that's something I'm taking note of. This patient is sick. I'm looking at the left femur, looking for any fracture of the femoral head, femoral neck, or intertrochanteric region, and subtrochanteric region. As I come up into the iliac bone, I'm going to adjust my window a little bit and widen it. And now you can see that there's a pretty striking fracture of the, the left iliac bone right here. You can see there's a bone fragment here. Now, let me zoom out for a second. This is a typical window that the pelvis x-ray comes in. How notable do you think that fracture is from here versus all the way up here with proper windowing? Now you can see that this is a pretty bad fracture of the left iliac bone. Now you're getting a sense that, hey, this, this patient's been in some serious trauma. This patient's seriously ill, and if they're not thinking about getting a CT, I'm definitely going to recommend that. So I take the left iliac bone, I'm coming into the left SI joint right here. I'm assessing the SI joints, and you can see this SI joint on the left is clearly widened in relationship to the right. So again, this pelvis is basically opening up here on the left. This is a pretty severe trauma. I'm here looking at the sacrum. I could easily miss a sacral fracture. And all this stuff that's obscuring the sacrum is bowel gas. This is some stool here in the rectum. So this is the reason we say in our reports, bowel gas obscures the sacrum. We don't just say it to hedge for no reason. It's, it's an actual thing. And what I like to look at in the sacrum is looking at these sacral foramina. These are where the nerve roots exit. You can use these pieces of bone to help you pick up a fracture in the sacrum in the cranial caudad plane. And coming up, I'm checking the lumbar vertebrae. As I check the lumbar vertebrae, I can see this displaced fracture of the right L5 level transverse process. This bone is ripped right apart right here. I'm changing the window to kind of make that more conspicuous. Now you see how easy it is to see here again versus back here. With a typical window, it would be very easy to miss that. So again, this is telling me information. This is telling me this patient has been in some bad trauma. He's going to need a lot more imaging and a lot of clinical care to ensure a good outcome here. I continue my search. I looked at the right SI joint. This looks intact. I'm looking at the right iliac bone. Here's the iliac crest. I'm coming down, coming back down into the right acetabulum and right femoral head. And this all looks intact to me here. So as I finish up, I hope you can see that when you zoom in and you change the window width and level, you can get a lot of information. You can extract a lot of information from this study, this pelvic x-ray. And it can change the impression from being just a simple fracture of the pubic rami to understanding that there are multiple fractures here. There is fractures of these superior inferior pubic rami. There's a nasty looking fracture of the left iliac bone. There's opening up of the SI joint on the left. There's a displaced fracture of the lumbar vertebrae. 
and this guy definitely needs CT imaging of the whole body to exclude additional visceral injuries. So again, any x-ray you open up, zoom in, look at everything in a stepwise fashion, try to extract as much information as you can from these images. It could make a difference in somebody else's life. So again, I'm Srogo MD. Thank you for watching.